Hey, Orange One here. So I just got the uh, Templar's armor on and got our weight down by dump dumping some of the stuff that we don't really need. There's that turret right there, though. So we do want to be kind of careful about that. Um, I think I yeah I took out the Templar like here, dumped our old chainmail, a couple heavy items as well, and some water, some of the salt water that we've been carrying. And if we go over one tile, we get to the Great Gate. That's how close we were. <laughs> so, Wajroid, it's hostile to us. But I'm kind of confused because I thought we had... Um, the Engraved Droid Scrambler. Which I thought would... Um, Oh wait, what? Looking at it, we got some history. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so we're trying to get this data disk um, to Joppa. And we got a few things that we gotta fight our way through. Where did it go? Did we kill it? I think we might have killed it. Okay, the wage droid's friendly. They just needed to process the fact that we were right by it. So, you know, I did see online people say you can, um... Kill the wage droids for experience. I'm not going to do that right now. We may do that later on. It is kind of robbing us of the experience that we could be getting from them. But I'm okay with that. I'd rather... Oop. We're low. Um, so let's just check out our chem cell. Where is the chem cells right now? Chem cell low. So I've got two of them, they're both low. I can recharge it though. Sure, let's use two A's and then... Um, Let's replace um, that with our full chem cell. We've got so we've got one that's full, one that's low now. Can I just look at this? I don't actually think I want to pick it up. Okay, so it looks like we're pretty clear. There are going to be those apes around here, though. I kind of would just get into the Grit Gate, to be honest. Are we maybe going to be able to get an attack off on this thing? No. I thought it was going to happen. Ooh, the ape's going to get killed. Can I shoot it? For some experience. Oh, hit the way droid. There we go. We killed the ape. The way droids are not attacking us. Good. Yeah, we might as well get the 300 experience, you know. And there's someone at the side this way there. I don't know if they uh, they saw us or not, but I am sketched out by the fact that there's multiple of them just hanging around. Did I just see a Sunder Mind? We just have really bad protection against like psychic moves. I'm just kind of scared.
Oh, that ape actually took out the um, wage droid. Okay, well I'll take the cracked lens then. Did I see something? No, I didn't. Can't really see what it was that was down there. Yeah, see, there's all these guys. If I wait a little bit, is another one of them gonna appear maybe? Any more sightless way fools? Nope. Do these guys carry steel items? So they're definitely good for looting. I just am concerned that... Can I not hit that dude? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to hit him. Oh, we actually did. I'm doing surefire right now. That's what's helping me hit them from through the trees. I think that gives you a little bit of a bonus to your chance to hit something. You see, all these dudes are carrying steel items, which is awesome for us, but at the same time, a little sketchy. Um, wasn't there a sightless way, dude? Did he die? Yeah, he died. Hey bud, did you take care of the other one? Jewel encrusted first. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> it's almost comical. And it looks like the other dude that was up there also died. I might have to kill that hermit for his his jewel encrusted encrusted uh for I don't think I've seen that before. I'm being a little bit overly cautious right now. Mostly because those sightless way guys could really mess us up. So these Sigma Mirthworms, I don't think I even really need to use ranged weapons on. I might though. No, I think we're okay. Um, sorry about the mouse. I always forget to do that in these games. Oh, by the way, I did actually figure out how to do the cooking. You just gotta collect, uh, like, select the items, and then lower down there's an option to um, actually cook. And it, it doesn't look like one of the options, but it is. See what I mean? Like, this, this Electro Bow, pretty nice. I'm just um, scouting out the outside because that could happen. Right there. Well, at least we know the regular sightless mine, or whatever they're called, those guys, they might not kill us instantly. Maybe that was a weak attack, but if you saw that, he did do a decent amount of damage to us. So do the slugs now. We just gotta be kind of careful, because if we get hit multiple times... There we go. Oh look, he's got 8 drams of honey, and he's got... S oh my god! This dude. This dude right here. Horrible beehive. Interesting. 
So is it going to make more honey? I think it might make more honey. Um, I need to drop 10 pounds. You drop these two in a one pound something. Oh, we could get rid of this. And then let's drop the steel. For now, we'll probably come back for it. And is the outside secure now? Okay, now we can get to the uh, Carmelie Center. Sometimes behind trees there are like doors and stuff, so worth checking out. Can't just go through security doors though, you need to have keys for that. Oh, this door is actually already open. I don't want to be charging in though. Oh, look, we can get behind the security door anyways. That's why you want to loot places completely before you actually open a security door. Because there may be a way in that you're just not seeing. Um, looks good to me. I know the Great Gate can have some good stuff behind doors, though. I remember that from old versions. Before we head down... Let's just check out the rest of the ground level, huh? We're probably gonna find some good loot in the grit gate, but we can always come back for it. Because of the Berithumites, you can trade with them. Okay, let's go down. I forgot how many floors you have to go down, but with the way droids it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, uh, novice of the sightless. He just hit us. Um, it's gonna fall back. Is that crap gonna come for us? No. Where is that novice? Is the sightless way? There we go, he's down. And so is that guy. Oh, they're gonna attack the poor dude! He doesn't even have anything on him. Guys! Okay, well, if you're gonna kill him, I'm gonna get the experience. Sorry, Mr. Hermit. Oh look, he was actually standing on a treasure chest. Okay, if we didn't have our current gear, I would probably get that willowy armor. I mean, it's actually tempting to pick up. But I think it's better. We've been kind of building towards uh, having good armor. I just don't like relying on dodge. I've gotten burned before in this game doing that. We're at our carrying capacity now. I think that body that we just saw a minute ago was the sightless way, dude. Oh, there's another one. Uh, let's just take a second to recover. Never mind. Crabs coming for us. There we go. 
back up to full health. They killed that poor dude. Jewel encrusted steel Valax. That sounds valuable. That sounds really valuable, but we, like I said earlier, we're kind of at our carrying capacity already. What is the, that on the ground there? Badly wounded bandages. <laughs> okay. Interesting, I didn't know you could wound a bandage. I got a feeling behind that door is a uh, treasure chest or something. And, oh, interesting, we could actually get um, a similar location off to the side there. Oh, actually, I should have probably ate, show you the uh, thing I was talking about. So if I wanted to, I can actually use some like salty water and what was it, vine wafer? I think I was playing around with this a little bit. I think that's a good combo, from what I remember. A smidgen of engraved scrap metal. Mmm. So that reduces our thirst, which is, you know, it's pretty good. It's kind of weird that um, drinking something salty reduces your thirst, but okay. We can work with it. Okay, actually, I bet that door up there is where there's some good stuff. Fried processing core. Oh, there's so many treasure chests in here. Is it just me, or do they not usually have this many treasure chests in the Grit Gate? Could just be me, but... I don't know. Okay, yeah, I thought that I picked that up earlier, but it looks like I didn't. Is this another treasure chest that I haven't opened? Disassemble the musket. Hey, I can build muskets. Not like I really care about that, though. Because <laughs> why would you build a musket? <laughs> you know? What is this that's on the ground right here? Oh, it's oil. Um, I'm gonna pick that up. I think oil's worth something. I think you can use it for stuff. Got another treasure chest. You know what, Wage Void, why don't you kill the slime? Oh, did I hit the witty droid again? Oh, I'm sorry. He's just gonna kill the other slime. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm lighting up my surroundings using my electro bow. Basically, I don't have to have my, um,. Glow sphere equipped, so I was able to put on this shield. So we're actually super beefy right now. Wait, there's more oil over here? Is this dude like leaking oil? What's going on? Uh, hold on. Isn't that the same thing as oil? That's super weird. It's not letting me pick up the oil into a like container. Yeah, I don't know why there's more oil appearing. We can go down here. Oh, we got a slumbering. Please, 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 please don't wake up the slumbering electric guys. Uh, is it awake? It's so, uh, dazed. I'm gonna go up for a little bit.
Just because I'm scared of that. Just kind of curious. Oh, yep. Yeah, the Slumber Ring's coming for us. Uh, I break line of sight with it. I think I can. That's very concerning. I think it chased us down there. It's stunned by something. Um, I think we managed to avoid the slumbering. I don't think it's going to come down here. As long as we can fight off these dudes, I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Oh my god, I can't believe a slumberling got woken up. And it actually meleeed us and we survived. How did that happen? It makes me very nervous about trying to leave here. Look at all these bullets, jeez. Can I get the honey? I don't really want the slime though. Let's see, we've got one pound that we're trying to drop. Um, yeah, drop these moccasins. Oh my lord, slumbering. Well, at least it didn't crit us because I bet if it critted us, we'd be done. I'm not sure what you could do, I and mean, you could probably freeze it with the freeze grenade and what's this the infibulator I'm so confused what is happening I think it's something that teleports you sightless mind where are you Wait, uh oh, a Templar. And an, the Infibulator. Oh, Novice of the Silas Mind is attacking us again. There's a Templar Squire. I'm very confused about what's going on with the attacks. That thing's coming towards us. There's the sightless monster. That Templar is gonna get teamed up against. I think we might be able to kill it with a shot or two. 11 damage. He's wounded. I don't want to get hit by him though. I'm a little bit concerned about my current health. Yeah, it's a bummer I didn't get that experience, but I'd rather not take the risk right now. The good news is that um, he's got some good items on him. Can you look at the weird artifact? The foliage grenade. He's got another pair of steel boots. I could. Probably equip that. Because I already have one pair of steel boots on, but I could get two pairs of steel boots. Yeah, now I've got two pairs of steel boots. I'm not sure why it's showing up as red and green, though. <clears throat> now we're even more tanky. Uh, but we're incredibly overweight right now. Um, I'm really curious about what it is that we've been carrying around here. 
uh, with that weird artifact, so I think I'm going to hold on to that for now. Still got to get rid of 12 pounds of the shotgun. I don't think we're going to really use the shotgun again. Let's unload it first to get the bullet back, and then we're going to disassemble that shotgun. Oh, now we can build them if we ever need to. <laughs> okay. I was just doing that so that I can move, right? Yeah. And... We're good to go. I am incredibly nervous about trying to get out of here, though, with that slumbering. These guys, where's your parent? You know, I think we might be able to level up in this episode if we, um... No, oh, Mirthworms. Come at us. I don't think you can even get in our armor. God, there's a lot of them, though. Okay, they can get in the armor. It's tricky. For sure. If I look at my boots, do they actually slow me down? Is that why? Oh, it's being averaged across all body parts of the same type. Mm, okay, so... That's interesting. Was that happening when I was wearing the moccasins? I'm just... I just want to check. Yeah, they were being averaged. We gotta wear our steel boots on both of our hind and four legs if we want to be able to um, really benefit from that. Okay, um, this level's looking pretty good. Besides that one, you know, slumbering, but maybe it will be asleep. That's my hope, is maybe it it calmed down and went back to sleep up there somewhere. After it just decimated a few people. Is there no stairs down? No stairs down. Oh god, how does this work again? Don't you have to, like... Um, go over a map tile or something and it's like up north or to the side. Oh, wasn't there something off to the side before? I don't see any ways to go sideways here. Man. I think we gotta go up and hopefully not get mauled by slumbering. Is, what is that that I'm seeing over there? I've got a feeling it's the result of the slumbering. So there's that entrance down here, or exit down there, but isn't there also to my right? It looked like there was a hallway. I'm going to check that out first. Because I think that might be where we need to go. And there's no slumbering there. Never mind, we can't go that way. There's nothing here. Um, this is when I need to be incredibly careful. Yeah, that slumbering's right there. They're asleep. Okay. 
I'm just curious. I'm not gonna go for it, but what's this right next to him? Two-handed Balax. Okay, so if I go up and around, I don't think he's gonna wake up. And I am straight up confused. I don't see any other ways to go about this floor. I bet it's on the floor down below. I bet we just missed like a spot somewhere. I'm gonna check online, I'll be right back. Actually, I just checked the time. I'm going to sign off here and pick it up in the next episode. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. I've explored this whole map and the one above, and I'm pretty sure behind this security door is the stairs to go down. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cheat a little bit because there's no other way for us to go down right now. So... After I make myself a quick meal, what we're going to need to do is um, no clip our way down. Where is it? So you can do no clip down and up. Um, where do I want to bind those two? Why don't we bind them to this? And that. Yep. So let's no clip our way down. And yeah, we're gonna have to fight our way through these guys, which we can do. It's just there was no way for us to get down. You know? Oh, um, that slug snout's gonna be a pain. But if we get some enemies between us and them, we're, we're okay. Oh, jeez. And there's a sightless way dude just up there as well. Okay, if they had hit us there, it might have been game over. I think we're okay. That was really close. There wasn't really much I could do about it either. Good. Um, there's a centipede that's wanting to corner us. Okay, we're good. I think. Yeah, see, these stairs come from behind this door. I totally called it. God. <sighs> That's annoying. <laughs> but it's part of the procedural generation, you know? It's gonna happen. Can't, can't get too mad at a game that's procedurally generated, right? Wouldn't happen in Caves of Cud, though. I probably would sometimes, but I haven't ran into any issues like that with, or sorry, a cataclysm. I haven't ran into anything like that, like a game breaking bug like that. Okay, we've managed to get our full cell and bring it down to used. So this place has a has given us a fair amount of kills. You know, we've shot a lot of stuff. Getting close to leveling up, actually. Oh, I think that up north is where we want to go. But before we do that, let's just check out. Ooh, weird artifact. Yeah, examine it. Flaming steel sword. Very nice. Uh, we'll come back for that though so we can sell it. Hmm. 
Another weird artifact, okay. High explosive grenade. Uh, I definitely want that, but we're too encumbered. We're going to come back to those treasure chests. I think right now I just need to um, go meet the Berithumites. Um So if I go up to here and I press C on that door... And then, yep, place the disc in. You can read through this if you want. Nice. So... Enter then. Nice, so we're in. Um, if we look here, this is my... I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Ooh. Some cyborg or robot person over there. There's a weird artifact over there. Um, so I'm gonna talk to this dude. It's smarter than your average pair. I like that. <laughs> so this dude will trade with you. He's got some really good stuff. Like, really, really good stuff. Um... Including a Christeel dagger. Nice. Um, and he's got a grid gate recoiler there with an energy cell in it. It's tempting. It really is. Is there a way for me to have him identify it? Yeah, identify it, please. Sniper rifle. Um, can you repair it? Right, I suppose I might be able to repair it now that I know what it is. I kind of want to repair it because that could be actually a really good item for us. I'm gonna just just see if we sell them all this stuff. What we can get? The oil like isn't even worth much at all. Um, we'll, we'll get rid of it. Yeah, we don't need this either. The portal beehive, I've got a feeling, is going to be a useful thing for us, though, to have. I think we're going to want the recoiler so that we don't have to cheat getting our way through the door. Whatever energy cell he has in there, it's probably a super valuable one if it costs that much more. I don't have the means though to have to get it, I don't think. I could get rid of this Electro Bow, because I already have my other Electro Bow. Right? You don't really need to have a spare. Got 110 worth. Let's see, actually I might have enough to be able to buy that Grid Gate Recoiler with the Energy Cell in it. Yeah, I actually, no, I totally have enough. Okay, let's do it. I mean, there's so much stuff that's above us that's worth something. I'm gonna do it. Yep, let's do that trade. And I wanna find out what the energy cell is. Remove it, and wherever that energy cell is, let's find out what it is. I bet it's like a nuclear one or something. A fidget cell. 
Oh, so it's one that as we move, um, when worn or held in hand. A wrist strap. Uh, can I equip it? Um, instead of the wooden buckler, maybe? Yep. So then we'll be able to power it up, and it, like as we move, we're, we're adding energy to it. So it's low right now, but it will have more. If I try and walk through these doors, it won't let me. What's my quest right now? Oh, they want me to go to Golgotha. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're ready for that. Golgotha is a pretty tricky thing to do. And I want to be a much higher level than what I am right now. Speaking of which, I should be probably leveling up my skills. That's not going to hurt our toughness anymore. Doing it again though will hurt our toughness. Uh, so now we're super super fast. And let's see. We have exactly 150 skill points. What do I want to do with that? Trash divining? Trash divining would be nice. Um, it's not directly beneficial to us though. It's not really anything that we can do with tinkering, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> we don't have high enough agility to get these other things. our agility if we're going to be a rifleman. Carbide Chef also sounds pretty good. Spicer might also be good. We can do Spicer and Carbide. You know what, let's do that. We're going to become a really good cook. I think. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I feel like this would be really good, especially when we go to Golgotha, because there's all this trash. This is immediately beneficial to us, though. We're doing it. We're going to be a, a master chef of the apocalypse. I'm going to just grab as much stuff as we can and trade it, though, before we do anything else. There's just like loot everywhere around here. We've got another like 12 or so pounds that we could carry. We'll take the grenade. Um, flaming short sword, yep. And the revolver. You know what, we're gonna disassemble the revolver because then we can use that to charge our cells. Oh, actually, hold on. Sniper rifle. Repair it. Oh, we need 
D1 and 4 to repair it. Really? Um, what do I have? I've got D's. I don't have any pristine electronics. Because that'd be the four. We do have ones, though. Um, let's see. Oh, I do have. I could make something. Um, Serene visage, but I think it has to be something that goes on your head from what I saw online and that covers your face and because of our horns we're not going to be able to use that. Oh, this would be our portable beehive, by the way. And can I pour uh, into my water skin? Yep, pour all of it in there. I'm, I'm curious to see if it fills back up over time. I feel like it will. So now we've got portal beehive on our back. We're a master chef, which means I am definitely cooking with that honey. Do not kid yourself. <laughs> um, let's just go ahead and trade the more of this stuff. I'm sure, that's trade. Take all this. I'm gonna keep the book for now, because I think I actually want to go to, um, not the Grit Gate right now, but the, the Tower of the Spire. Yeah, we don't need a short bow anymore. Wooden buckler, we don't really need that either. Mm, looks pretty good for now. I don't need more water, because that's actually going to weigh us down, if anything. I actually, if anything, I want to get rid of the water that we've got. So we've got like 200 worth and stuff, so maybe 150? Yeah. I'm fine with that, because then we've got still more than enough water. And we can actually carry more, because I think copper is more dense than the water. I know it is, but... Contraweighted longsword. Oh, 4 1d6? That sounds pretty good. I think it's actually better than our carbide battle axe. I don't know. Should I change it out? The the battle axe does um, cut through armor occasionally, which is pretty useful. We're uh, starting to get kind of weighed down here. I bet behind that red door is something. Oh, what's this? What is this? This is when I regret not taking that divining through trash skill. Carbide hammer. Folded carbide dagger. Yeah, I'm going to avoid walking on this trash for now. Last of fire jerkin. Interesting. This is going to be some sort of grenade. Yep. Get that. Disassemble that. I need to remember that there is that, that room there. You know what we're gonna do is, let's just check up, yeah see the fidget cell's already up at used, which is kinda cool. Let's trade more of this stuff. We don't need crayons, do we? I'm going to keep the glow sphere for now. And I'm keeping that counterweighted steel sword. 
mostly because I'm not sure if it really is worth it or not. Okay, um, oh wow, that's worth 200. What are we selling that's worth so much? The Plastifier Jerkin. Interesting, okay. Um, oh my god, look at how much that is worth. That is insane. We could try getting the freeze grenade and try that again. Do that. Maybe that. And you know what we can do, which is kind of cool, is we can. We've got a grit gate recoiler and we have a dropper recoiler, so we can actually now travel between those places really easy. Oh, we can make our own revolvers now. Kind of cool. I just kind of want to look at this really quick. If we're strong, um, it gives us a better bonus. And it'll cleave armor on a critical. Does the sword have something like that on a critical? It's just got plus one to hit. And it just gives bonus damage. So actually, they they would be better weapons against be different enemy types. So maybe we'll keep them both: sword for squishy opponents and axe for armored. Okay, the dropper recoiler. Can I put in? I'm I'm curious to see if the fidget will um. have enough charge to power the recoiler. I bet it doesn't, but we can try. Nothing happens. Oh no, we used all of its power. Um, replace that low with the low chem cell. And look, we're in Joppa. Can I equip this? Um, if I auto equipped it, does it just get put there? Yeah, it does. Okay. And now the chem cell is very low. I'm just kind of curious what tech Argive has for us. A grenade launcher. Oh, that's kind of cool. A random point recoiler. That sounds sketchy. Anti-gravity boots. What? What? <laughs> Gyrocopter backpack. Okay, you're... You've lost it, man. He's got some good blueprints there, though. Oh, you know what I forgot to do was making freeze grenades. Please, 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 please. Yay! We can make more. I'm gonna make a couple. Because those have to be uh, some of my more favorite grenades that you can tinker up. And see, now we've got Tinker actually being useful. We have some functionality from it. Do you have any other gizmos for us that we could buy? No, not really. Just a bunch of trash, basically. Not trash, but definitely not great stuff. Alright, well I think I'm gonna go drop that book off at the spire and 
probably not in this episode, but the next one. Oh look, our fidget's already at very low. You know, we could go check with our Dromad uh, traders really quick. Where were they? They were like up here, weren't they? Um, now I want to go down... No, uh, where's the traders that I found? Dromad Caravan right here, okay. Wait, we had water in our beehive. What? I need water. Yes, it's generating honey. <laughs> okay. Um, can I pour that into the water skin? So I want like pure honey, please. We're literally just generating money right now, by the way, with honey being generated. And look, our fidget cell is full. It's got full power. I'm just curious. Can I um, take that fidget cell and I'm just curious if it's uh, something that's sustainable with the, um, the electro bar I want to just shoot some stuff. I've got some artifacts. I've got a feeling that the, these could be grenades or possibly energy cells. Still has the junk that we've given him. Um, nothing that I absolutely need. I think I've been recording for a while though, so I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.